They've literally incinerated hundreds of thousands of these tortoises, but now this guy's 150 head of cattle that they want to let on this uh, land, they fear, the cover story is that they might uh, interfere with some tortoise uh, uh, habitats. Uh, it's all complete nonsense, of course. It's a mere exercise of power. I've heard some rumors that it's about oil rights or fracking or solar panels, and who knows? Maybe that's true, maybe that's not. But this is a mere exercise of, of power uh, to destroy the, one of the last uh, ranchers around. He said originally there were like 52, 53 other ranchers. They've all been run off the land with these excessive grazing fees. And then people say, well, why is food so expensive? Well, because you've got these ridiculous grazing fees from a government that has done nothing, nothing whatsoever to actually own this land. You know, you and I want to own something, we don't just get to sit there and say, mine, right? You actually have to go earn the damn thing or build it or make it or enclose exactly it or right. something on it. And that also brings up the question as to what is legitimate law? Now, here's a comment that my wife sent to me. The guy says, really? You're happy that a lawbreaker got away with breaking the law? Law is law. And Bundy broke the law. If Bundy did, in fact, break the law and is wrong here, he has to be held responsible. Well, the question is, how do we get legitimate law? What is legitimate law? Now, of course, the legitimate law, the law that all the laws are subject to, is the Constitution. That is the ultimate law. That is what law enforcement and the military swear allegiance to. When they break their oath to that ultimate law, when the legislators break their oath to that ultimate law, they no longer have any authority. So there is a legitimate path of authority, but we also have some moral ethics here, and Christians should understand this, that if we are going to stand by, and they're showing up here on the screen, Dr. Martin Luther King says, never forget that everything Hitler did in Germany was legal. Are we going to say that because it was a law, Rosa Parks needed to stay at the back of the bus? There are higher moral laws. That's what Christians need to understand. We have people like Dietrich Bonhoeffer who stood against Hitler. We had Martin Luther King who stood against unjust laws. The laws need to be altered or abolished if they destroy people's rights, if they're immoral, if they're wrong. The Declaration of Independence says we have certain inalienable rights. We create governments to protect those rights when the governments destroy those rights. We, the people, have the right and the duty to alter or abolish that government. Now I want to play, have you guys get the, uh, the clip from uh, Steve Bundy, the, um, yes, the one where they're talking about, where he's talking about the uh, court case. There was a court case when this all started, and understand that they've, they've enjoyed surface rights, grazing rights for 140 years. And when the, what the BLM did, and so that they could take this land and hand it over to their crony capitalist partners, whether they're domestic corporations, whether they're international corporations, or whether it's Chinese corporations, it's all the same thing. They used the code to shut these people down. And what they did was, when they said, we're going to cut down your allotment, the, the number of cattle that you can have by 90%, and we're going to not allow you to go out in the three months that are the best months to graze, the calving months that you need to be on the land, we're not going to allow you to do that. They were essentially putting these people out of business with the code the new code uh, rules that they had enacted in order to protect the desert tortoise. So the ranchers got together, hired a lawyer, hired scientists, went to court. Because you know you should have a, your day in court before they confiscate your property. That's what they were essentially doing. They were winning the argument. This is in 1993 with their lawyer, with the scientists that they had. They were opposed by the BLM, by the EPA, by environmental groups who were standing up and uh, every time they brought something up, there was opposition. Clearly, they were losing the case. The judge was ruling in their favor over again. At one point, the BLM got up and said, you have no jurisdiction here, and just walked out. They realized they were losing the case, and they just walked out. Let's play that from... And during this whole case, the BLM's lawyers, the state of Nevada's lawyers, the uh, conservation group, we had all the greenies there. Every one of their lawyers got up to speak every time anything was said. And after they had lost the case, obviously they stood up and the only thing they had to say was, you have no jurisdiction over EPA law. And there were no rights to oppose the EPA in any regulation. You have no federal recourse in the law. And he had the had the situation where he's already paid for the grazing out here. This fee that they're charging him is just an arbitrary fee. They say, well, 
you can put that many cows out there and it's going to cost you this much. And next week it's something else. And then next week it was, well, you could have put out 150 cows. Now you can put out 50. And you can either comply and go out of business as they've done to all of the ranchers around. All of the people on the land, they want to completely be able to control it through regulation. I don't know that that's their plan, but that's what's happened to our country. And one at a time, they can take out anyone in this country that opposes them. That's right. That's say, exactly what it's about. It's a gradual infringement process. It's about regulations created by bureaucracies that are unaccountable to us, unanswerable to us. They are not on the ballot. We have regulation without representation. We have bureaucracies with armies to come out and enforce that. We have courts where we have no presumption of innocence. We're going to be right back. That is the key. That is happening to every business across the country. He's in a timeshare business, and they're putting them out of business with regulations. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs Generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs Generator and Lung Delivery System at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. The Victory Seed Company is a family-owned, farm-based organization working to keep rare, open-pollinated heirloom seeds available for your home garden with no unstable hybrids or GMO seeds sold. Learn about their mission at VictorySeeds.com. And for a limited time, enter Victory at checkout to receive a free garden planning tool on orders over $10. Grow your Victory Garden with Victory Brand Seeds. VictorySeeds.com. Every day it becomes more clear our nation is headed towards an uncertain future. Nothing can ensure your family's security like an Atlas Survival Shelter. The strongest money can buy and designed to be buried up to 42 feet deep with all the comforts of home and all the protection you need. Bulletproof hatches, tamper-resistant air pipes, and a unique ground design that'll withstand a bomb. See them today at IWantThatBunker.com or call 1-855-4-BUNKER. Atlas Survival Shelters. Better prepared than scared. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Federal agents, we are Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we've been talking about the Bundy Ranch standoff. Josh Owens and I just got back, and it was an amazing victory. A victory for people who stood up against the gradual infringement of their rights and really questioned do they have the authority to put people off of their property? Got together, looked them in the eye, and the feds moved down. And Alex Jones is right here. That was an amazing victory, Alex. It was incredible. And I'm, I'm, I'm as proud of this as anything we've ever done. 
yesterday uh, covering this on the Sunday show, and then of course Saturday watching him live you stream. It was so historic, and I realized that when Bundy told a thousand people we're going to walk through, we're going to march through, that this could have easily turned into Lexington or Concord. Yes, uh, the shot heard around the world, and there's a video at the bottom of Jerome Corsi's article on World Net Daily that I wanted to play that that I think I sent you. Yes, um, where a rancher a few days before gives a speech. And he says, listen, I'm not going with guns. If they're going to shoot me, that'll be the shot heard around the world. They fire that, we'll fire the rest. And the feds realized they didn't have the moral high ground. This, this, this event that happened is literally, and I'm going to talk about this at the bottom of the next hour after Josh comes in, is a Rosetta Stone. And for those that know what the Rosetta Stone is, it was discovered and it was basically the way to decode these hieroglyphs that they could never understand before. And this is a Rosetta Stone. This is exactly what's happened in the Texas Revolution, in the 1776 Revolution, this is the kind of stuff that led to, to brush fire rebellions, that led to Magna Carta, 1215. This is the kind of stuff that led the Israelites out of Egypt with Moses. Same story. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, this, this is the human story. It transcends America. And the victory is the, the imagery. You couldn't ask for better propaganda for freedom. And propaganda doesn't mean lies. It's just gotten a bad connotation. It's truthful info war of good looking, you know, hard working farmers and folks coming together, real militia with their guns, with the guns at their side, marching towards men saying, we're going to shoot you with their police dogs and all the rest of it, knowing they were in the wrong, standing down, the BLM deciding to be good, like the troops in V for Vendetta, yes, uh, not shooting when the people peacefully walk towards them. And that eventually, that, that essentially happened in East Germany as well. At one point, when the people got oh, together in churches, down. exactly, they got together in the churches, they marched to the fences, and the border guards had been shooting people trying to get over the fences in East Germany, stood down and refused the orders to and shoot. And the whole government collapsed. The whole criminal right. illegitimate regime collapsed. And we want the republic back. We want the new world order system to collapse. And, and again, for those that don't know BLM, that don't know range rights, if you come in and you're a rancher and you want to buy grazing rights and no one has a claim and they have a clear claim, that's why BLM tried to buy it from him, then they can sell those rights yeah. if they're the manager and the steward. Yeah. They were not the manager and the steward. Their family, as the antecedent, I guess would be the term, are the progenitors of that, the first claim. It's 100% in common law, in state law. That's why Bundy's so mad. And then yeah. you see the ignorant public going, that guy's not paying taxes for that. He paid taxes seven generations in blood, putting in the water tanks, putting in his ancestors. That's the essence of owning property. None of us own our houses anymore with property tax. That's right. The Rockefellers all get waivers and are exempt if, if folks look it up. You pay a, a tax to have your car registered. Now they're raising that, putting people out of their cars. You pay a tax uh, on your home. Most people I know can't pay their property taxes. They're taking old people's houses because they can't pay it. You don't really own your house. This is what feudalism is. And so the next 30 minutes, you'll break this down. Josh Owens, who's a real hero, everybody that was there was a hero, to march towards people pointing guns at you, saying, we will shoot, who had just attacked dog and, and, and tasered people and thrown women to the ground. I mean, this is a big deal. You guys, like V for Vendetta, that's a movie. This yeah. is real. Walked into this, and they said, no, we're not letting the cattle go. Get out of here. And we said, all right, we're coming through. And so they, the, you guys tore the gates down and marched over. Right. We're going to break. We're coming back. I'll break it all down at the bottom of the next hour. This is historic. This is all Americans' victory. And we defeated the mainstream media and their fraud. We exposed Harry Reid. It, it, it's the key. We'll be back. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans 
Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139.